How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about something that's been blowing up everywhere on the internet and it's something that's like very special to me. Uh, I know it's not about me and I'm not going to be talking about me but it's a YouTuber that's been a very special one for me because his content has been just everything that he's done is inspired me to do more and I feel like Talking about this, it's just something that I want to just pay a bit of tribute, just basically saying what an amazing career. Uh, if you guys don't know and haven't seen by the title, uh, Matt Pat from Game Theory is retiring uh, from there. He's stepping back. And in the video, he explains it a lot. I'm going to be linking the video down below. Don't worry, I'm going to be linking all five of his channels. The impact that this guy has had on YouTube has been insane. And one of the reasons why I theorize so much is because of him. I would see a lot of his older videos and I would see a lot of his videos and just the, the format of it, it makes you always think and it makes you always theorize and it makes you see in between the lines of everything that happens in the gaming world, in the film world, style theory, food theory, everything. It just... It, it makes you go so much more in depth and I loved his like and I love his videos I still watch them every week when there's a new video I watch it because I love doing it and seeing his theories on movies uh, for example uh, I was there when uh, like for a long time I've been watching his videos and one of the videos that I mainly remember was how Spider-Man's web slinging is lethal all of his Pokemon theories Minecraft theories Five Nights at Freddy's uh, theories. Uh, that that one is like one of the biggest ones. And I've seen myself quoting him quite a bit. He is just one of the most amazing YouTubers, if not like the YouTuber with the most impact in the YouTube community I've seen because it's just the way that he's transformed other content and the way that he's transformed a community to go out and think and really question everything is just insane. And I wanted to just go a bit in, in detail and just say that like when I started my channel and when I started like posting theories and stuff like that, I would like before I, po before I started, I would watch his videos and I wouldn't comment or anything like that. Like I, I probably should have, but it, it, these are just things that I would keep to myself. I would constantly find myself either agreeing or trying to battle with his theories in my mind, trying to think like, hey, no, uh, Batman shouldn't be able to beat Superman, not even if he goes into a like radioactive plant and he overdoses Superman. Um, like there were a lot of theories that I would constantly be thinking of. And one of the reasons why I started my channel was because my parents would tell me like, yo, just put your opinions, put your theories online and for me, I would always see his channel and it was like, it was already done. You you have a channel of someone that had already done it. What is my opinion going to matter? And uh, obviously, that's a very stupid way of thinking about things because your opinion always matters. And no matter if someone else has done it, you can still do it in your own way. And that's something that I saw from his videos because every video like in the 557 videos that he's done of five nights at freddy's he's always done something differently he's always traced back his steps done something differently and he's always come to a different conclusion it's just something that to me without matt pat i wouldn't be able to analyze things as much because i just i grew up with the ones that i grew up understanding and, and part of my theorist brain I think comes from him and so just to see him leave yes it makes me very like it, it like obviously I don't know him but it makes me sad to see such a big part of my of my inspiration and such a big part of YouTube just go off and do other things but it's not a bad goodbye it's not that he got overworked or that he lost relevancy. He explains this in the video that I said, go watch it. Um, he explains everything to a T of why he's decided to step away from YouTube. And they're good reasons. They're reasons that I personally 
don't have. I'm, I'm still young. I'm still starting to do YouTube, but he's now a father. He has a lot of things that if he's up late nights doing all this shit, he's going to miss out on a lot of things. And so I, I can really understand why he's doing this. And obviously, I think that anyone could. Uh, I'm not trying to give the reasons why he's leaving. He gave that in his video. It's just the sentiment of this is an impactful stepping down from YouTube and his content and his channel, his legacy is still going to go on. Uh, this channel spurs from him, uh, not not directly, but it spurs from his idea and his what he's done. It spurs from that and he's he's left people that that are going to keep on going with the channel. And so we're not going to lose out on the game theorists. Just Matt Pat that's leaving, and I I hope that in his retirement and in the well, he's still gonna be working for the channel. He did say that, but I hope that in that he finds what what he's looking for and he really gets to rest and keep on doing the content that he loves doing and keep on doing the things that he loves doing because like that's what YouTube is at the end of the day. It's been I think he said thirteen years of his life where. He's given his all to it. And so now it's time for him to sit back and let it let it keep on growing. I, I, I don't know. I, I made this video without any idea of what I was going to say, just with the simple fact that he's leaving. I honestly was envisioning Matt Pat at 70 years old still saying, but hey, that's just the theory. My um, imitation of him is terrible, and I know that, but... Yeah, he's just been such an amazing YouTuber, such an amazing guy. I always watch his content and uh, they say like, never meet your heroes and stuff like that. But he's generally one of the content creators that I would love to meet in person. And I know that that might be tough, one, uh, his retirement. And two, I don't even know where where to even find him or if we'd ever cross in, in content. But yeah, it's just... It, it, it's completely taken me by surprise and it's honestly like made me think a lot about the content that he used to do and the con like it's made me think about a lot about the landscape of YouTube. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Go watch Matt Pat. Go show some love to his channel. I know that I'm on, I'm at 300 subscribers and that's micro to his 18.5 million on only one channel. He has five channels. Go watch all of them. They all have something for you. If you like style and learning about the the psychology of colors, which toothbrush is the best for you? Which, by the way, that one did inspire me a bit ago because I actually just recently changed my toothbrush to one of the ones that he, he was the one that recommended. Um, then shaving, again, another thing that I was very uh, keen to one thing and then watching his video changed my mind about it. Then you also have food theory and the impacts that he's done there. Game theory, which obviously you guys know, it's, it, it's his most predominant one. And then film theory, which is one that I've taken a lot of inspiration from. I, I try not to uh, steal too much content, but uh, I do like watching his videos and I do like just seeing where like where his ideas come from because I feel like it's a very interesting thing to be able to bounce off ideas from maybe him then me and then maybe if I make a video I can research what he says and then see how his research will go against mine it's a very interesting thing to be able to use someone that big and that amazing to then better myself and better the content that I can make for you guys and then you also have game theory live where he posts uh, like the whole, like he, he plays, uh, FNAF VR. I, I watched that one recently, uh, FNAF VR help wanted to, uh, and the way that he analyzes every single frame basically is just unheard of. And I cannot imagine anyone that would want to do that, <laughs> but he does <laughs> and he does it very well. Like he sees something on the wall and he's like, Oh, this, this actually ties back into uh, the first game where this has this and then into the books where it was the origin story of this. He's just done amazing things for YouTube, for the content, for gaming, for everything that he's done. 
Thank you, Matt Pat. I wish you well.